Hello and welcome. This video is going to be what sold for me uh, on the various platforms that I sell on for the second week of September. So that is September 8th to September 14th. And I'm going to start with my lowest performing platform first and work my way up. And that would be Poshmark would be the first platform I'm going to share with you. The first sale I have to share with you is this vintage tie. This had a bunch of pink elephants on it. You know, pink elephants used to be a euphemism for a drunk. I just thought it was cool. Normally, if I can get any of the vintage Ralph Marlin ties for $2 or less, I pick them up. Again, selling ties is something that I enjoy doing. You don't have to if that's not your thing. Uh, I just like them because they are cheap. Most of the time they're cheap. They're lightweight, they're easy to store, and also they don't break in shipping. So I sold this one for $10 at full price and Miss Moxie has decided to join us here. And I'm really happy that that sold. It did take a quite a bit of, uh, to sell, but I'm okay with that because again, it's a very low buy cost and they'll just move when they get to it. This is something I bought at an estate sale. I paid a dollar for this. This is a uh, American Eagle knit sweater. You can see I modeled this one. It sold for my full asking price of $15. And on Poshmark for both of these items, the buyer paid for shipping. So this is another great sale. And again, something I'm perfectly happy to just sit and wait for a buyer on. Gonna move Miss Moxie over here and we're gonna go to Etsy. I know, Etsy is my next platform. I am also happy. As I mentioned it in my last What Sold video, the second half of the year is normally when my Etsy starts to pick up and that seems to be the case now. I sold this vintage fleece lighthouse thing that I got at the Air Force Retiree's house. So that man had a lot of clothes and he had one tiny hall closet that still had his past wife's clothes in them and this was in that closet. Um, there wasn't really much in there, but this was in there. So I picked this up for less than a dollar. This actually sold for $35 and what you see here is with taxes. Uh, and on Etsy, it's free shipping over $35. So it costs about $8 for me to ship this because I just put it in a padded flat rate. And yeah, so I got an easy, you know, $20 from the sale and that estate sale is still making me money, which I think is amazing. Another estate sale fine. I actually found a set of six of these and I had a tray as well. The tray has already sold. And this is the first of the glass set of glasses to sell. Instead of doing six, like a set of six of these glasses, I decided to break it up into three sets of two. So someone could buy all of the glasses or someone could just buy them off in pairs. And the reason I did that is because I knew I could make more money that way. Mostly because I've actually sold these glasses multiple times now. So I pick these up whenever I find them and I am very excited. So these sold for $25 and then the buyer paid for shipping. No, I'm sorry, they sold for $24 and then the buyer paid for shipping, which is calculated by Etsy. So Miss Moxie, we gotta go again. You should know to like wait until I get to eBay and then you can just hang out with me. <laughs> All right, now we're in eBay, which is my main bay. And the first thing I have to share with you is this beautiful uh, vintage 60s dress. So I went to an estate sale at the beginning of the year and I didn't film it. <laughs> and I actually found about a dozen absolutely stunning dresses from the 60s to the 70s uh, that hadn't been, well, actually the 50s to the 70s that ranged from medium, which is what this one is, to 3XL. So I bought all of them uh, that I could and I paid about $10 a piece. Well, no, it was, 12, it was about 12 dresses and I paid $87 for them. So maybe around eight, seven or $8 for this. This one sold for $39.87. You can see Karen is putting in the work here. If you do not know, if you're new here, hello, uh, I'm Bob and my mannequin is named Karen Yonan. My, <laughs> my, my friends here on the internet's named it, but uh, this, she's doing a great job at $39.87, so this was a great sale, and I wish I had filmed it because I was absolutely geeking out, but it was a very busy estate sale, so I couldn't, I couldn't really film in there. This is a hat I picked up at the bins when I went with Brett uh, recently, and I paid 
you know, 50 cents for this hat and I sold it for my full asking price of $19.87. I really wish the bins here in Hampton had just a bin of hats because, oh my goodness, I would clean house like I did at this place. It was so good. This is a club aluminum Dutch oven. I've had this sitting in my dining room. You guys have seen it in multiple videos where I'm trying to slowly reclaim my house. I'm trying to dehoard my home and turn my death pile into a money pile. And this sat forever. I finally listed it. It did sell within two months of me listing it, which is... Uh, awesome and a surprise and as you can see here I have this uh, little four-way uh, I use a free app called layout for that uh, at least it's free on the Apple Store or it was free when I downloaded it but it's not sponsored it's just a tool that I use that's free so layout is something that I use and that's how I make these I also use photo room again not sponsored although that would be amazing <laughs> but uh, I pay the $70 a year for photo room pro in order to get rid of the background because this was a large pot so there was no way I could take a photo with this either in my light box or like out in the world without having a background so I just used photo room and layout so a paid app and a free app um, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to I've seen plenty of people sell stuff with just putting something on a table and taking pictures of it like just getting it listed is the biggest <laughs> the biggest uh, hurdle for most people when it comes to reselling. So sold for $19.87. I paid $4 for this on an estate sale. This is a pair of cathedral bookends that I again bought at the very beginning of when I started this reselling journey here on the internet. And I paid like $4 for these at the DAV near my house here in Newport News. Finally listed them, sold for $12. These sold within like two weeks of me finally listing them. This, I was so excited when I saw this sale come through, and for those of you that have been here for a while would know why. So this, this is the last of that giant book lot that I bought at the estate sale. This is the last of it. There is no more. I am done. It is done. So this was a great sale. Um, <laughs> I don't know what eBay was doing, but uh, they paid $11.22 for these books. And then eBay charged them $24.96 in shipping, which it did not cost that. I put this in a 10 by eight by six box and sent it on its way. And I was like, hey, uh, thank you so much for this order. I'm refunding you $10.18 because eBay charged you a ridiculous amount for shipping. So here's the difference. Thank you very much for your order. Have a great day. So. Uh, I do that because I, I do like, yeah, could I have kept the money? Absolutely, because this person obviously didn't care to pay, you know, 30 some odd dollars for six pre-owned books. But I like to have, um, I would like for someone to do that for me if the shipping didn't end up being that way. You do you, that's just what I do for my business. This is something I picked up at the Smithfield estate sale. I paid less than a dollar for this. This is Soft Surroundings. Uh, I don't really find soft surroundings that often, but when I do, I do pick it up, especially if I can get it for really cheap. Less than a dollar is really cheap to me. I don't know about you, but to me, less than a dollar is really cheap. So this sold for $19.87 and uh, the buyer paid for shipping. YOLO, I love my pearl snap. This is a women's pearl snap this time. I honestly don't remember where I found this. I think I found this at a regular thrift store. If I did, I paid around $4.50 for it. Sold for my full asking price of $14.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. This is something that was free for Carolyn. Yes, I did sell a pair of shorts for $2.30 and the buyer paid for shipping. And that's because these were free. And I was just in the, I was just listing stuff to get it out of the house. And I originally put this in the to sell pile because I never heard of this brand before. And then when I was getting around to listing it, I looked it up and I was like, oh, this actually wasn't worth that much. Oh, well. <laughs> We'll see what happens uh, and someone bought it. So thanks. I made $2. So Carolyn, thank you very much for that. Uh, another hat from the bins trip I made with Brett and this one sold for $18 and the buyer paid $4 for shipping. This is a hat that, you know, had multiple things going for it. It had a meme. It was vintage. It's Disney. Uh, and it actually is leather. The, the bill was actually pigskin leather, which I didn't know when I picked it up. I was just picking it up because I saw Harambe. <laughs> I was like, that's mine. It's, I paid like less than 50 cents for this at the bins and uh, it sold for 18. So that was a great sale. This is something I found chilling in this eBay room. Well, again, I'm trying to dehoard stuff. I paid probably less than a dollar for this. 
and it sold for three dollars and the buyer paid five dollars for shipping so did i really make any money on this no did i save something from the landfill yes did i get something out of my house absolutely so while i believe that this is the lowest profit item out of everything uh, i'm still happy about it because it saved something from the 60s from getting smashed and trashed and then it's no longer in my house this is something i picked up from uh, the huge estate sale uh, vintage lot that I got. Uh, it sold for $11 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. I thought I would get more for this, but that's kind of what this was going for. So I was like, all right, whatever. I put it up for 15, someone sent me an offer for 11. I'm like, I paid technically nothing for this at this point because haul has already paid for itself. So 100% profit. So just like the last time I talked about this shirt, Picked this up at the Goodwill in Williamsburg, paid about $5 for this, $4.50 was like the cost average for that trip. Picked up a whole size run. I now only have one large shirt left and this large shirt sold for my full asking price of $19.87 and this is the only thing that I sold on eBay that had free shipping. So still amazing, still make $10 every time I sell one of those shirts, which I think is a great, a great return on my investment. These shoes I actually picked up at the bins uh, here in Hampton. Our, the people that do the shoe bins here in Hampton are like, apparently shoes are what people go craziest over at the bins. But I guess people did recognize this brand. I did know it is not, you know, knockoff Converse. This is its own brand with its own like special features. And it's actually, they're really comfortable. These were sadly not in my size or I might have been tempted to keep them. But I paid $3 for this because at my Hampton Benz shoes are $3 and sold for $24.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. These are from the 60s. This is a set of Siesta Wear mugs. They have wooden handles. They did have a little bit of um, wear around the gold, gold bands. So I, I didn't mark them very much because they weren't in pristine condition. They also had a little bit of dishwasher wear because someone put them in the dishwasher. This is again, my moment to please request that if you buy or sell or collect or use or come into possession of vintage glassware with any beautiful decoration on it such as pyrex or fire king or something like this please do not put this in the dishwasher these these dishes were not made with dishwashers in mind they were made at a time when everybody did hand washing so these cannot stand up to being put in the dishwasher. The item itself might stand up to being in the dishwasher, the graphics will not, they will just come right off. So I sold these for $15.90. I paid like $5 for these at a thrift store. This is a set of Anchor Hawking glasses. I paid $4 for these. I sold them for 15, because again, I'm just happy to get them out. Actually, did I pay $4 for these? I got these on an estate sale. So I may have paid less than $4 for these actually. I may have paid 50 cents a piece for these. Either way, $2 or $4, I still sold them for 15 and the buyer paid for shipping and they went off to a new home. I love buying and selling books. I love reading books. I love collecting books. I just love books. Books have always been my friend. These four uh, Otherland books, this is volume one through four in this set. I managed to come across all four of them at the same time at a thrift store. So I actually paid $4 for these and they sold within a couple of weeks of me listing them for $17.87 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. This is an estate sale find. I paid a dollar for this at an estate sale and sold it for $9.87 and the buyer paid $5.50 for shipping. This was a, such an awkward thing to try to ship off, but I think it was worth it. This is probably the first and only time I will sell a Precious Moments item, at, at least in 2022. This is my first time selling, buying and selling Precious Moments. And that is because I found this particular one, which is a wedding theme. And the reason I know so much about it has all this great information is because as this listing states, it came with the box. So I found this box while I was looking at the bin and I was like, oh, nobody could pick this up. I'm guessing because it's empty. So I I was like, okay, well, I'll go look. So I opened it up and it still had the full styrofoam insert inside. It still had the certificate of authenticity inside and it still had the item inside and everything was pristine. I had no idea why nobody picked this up. Because at my bins uh, here in Hampton, Virginia, the clothing is $1.59 per pound, unless you buy 20 pounds or more, and then it's $1.29 per pound. 
housewares, which is what this was considered, is 79 cents per pound. So I paid 79 cents for this. <laughs> and it's still a new box, so I sold it for my full asking price of $14.87, and the buyer paid $9.65 for shipping. And this sold within like two weeks of me listing it. I was not expecting it to find in the condition. I was never expecting to ever sell any precious moments, but never say never. And I'm so grateful that it flipped so fast. I was very pleasantly surprised. This took forever to flip, only because it took forever for me to list. This was sitting on my shoe rack uh, that I moved <laughs> recently. And I paid $4 for this at New to You in Williamsburg. And I sold it for $9.87 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. You're like, why did you only, why did you only list it for that? Well, like that's what they were selling for. And again, that's why you should list stuff as soon as you get it, because the comps you get now are not gonna be the same comps you get, you know, two and a half years from now. Because reselling is always changing, and that's what ended up happening to me. But I still doubled my money, and that is actually all I really want in reselling. This is actually something I sourced on Whatnot. Uh, my friend Gorgeous, actually all my ladies have joined Whatnot super geeked. Uh, Victoria has decided to be a buyer, not a seller, but uh, both Alicia, Married Life, and Gorgeous, uh, Jess from Gorgeous, have all decided to uh, be sellers on whatnot, and I support my friends. So I went to Jess's vintage show, because you guys know how much I love vintage, and I bought this shirt. And I also was supporting her because of the fact that I have a bunch, uh, I had a bunch of credit on my account from surveys they were asking me to fill out because I've been on the app for a while and then also uh, credits for referring you guys uh, if you click my link down below I do have both a link uh, to join whatnot uh, except my link gives you $15 in credit to use and I know most people it's only $10 because I'm an influencer on whatnot and then I also have a seller referral as well um, which both of them give me a modicum of money for referring you so I'm just disclosing that but I bought this from her. It cost me $5.70. I bought this with the three other things or two other things. So I actually paid about $8.75 for shipping, but the items were free. So this basically was $3. And sold on an offer for $22.99 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. So I sold Kmart, a Kmart shirt that is over 50 years, that's 50 years old for probably two or three times what it costs new originally. Maybe more than that. I don't know, how much did shirts cost in the 1970s? Maybe maybe my mom will answer that question when she watches this video. Uh, I rarely find YouTuber merch to resell. This is actually probably my first time finding it in a condition that I actually want to resell it. Uh, I found this Mr. Beast. If you don't know who Mr. Beast is, that's impressive. I'm just gonna, don't look him up, continue He's not a bad person. I'm just stating just that's that's just impressive to me. So just keep doing that. This is his Mr. Beast Yum Yum hoodie. I can I I'm <laughs> I looked up so much stuff to try to figure out exactly which drop this was, uh, but it sold for twenty two dollars and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. I paid like four or five dollars for this at a thrift store. This is Sterling China. You know I love my restaurant wear. I paid 79 cents for this at the DAV near my house. So it seemed as though someone had decided they didn't want to have an antique booth anymore and had thus donated all of their antique booth to this Goodwill. And I know that because they still had the antique booth stickers on them. But the DAV just priced everything between 79 cents and a dollar. And I bought almost all of it. <laughs> and it's been slowly selling over the last couple years. This sold for $10.30 and the buyer paid $12 for shipping. And so I'm very happy that I've almost sold all of it by now. So, you know, paying 79 cents to a dollar and some of it selling between, you know, $10. Well, it's actually ranged between $5 and then like $25. I just like saving American history from getting thrown away in the garbage. This Nebraska Huskers piece, I actually picked up at the Air Force retiree's house. I paid less than a dollar for it. It's a vintage Adidas piece, and it sold for $15, and the buyer paid $6.50 for shipping. This dress I picked up at the bins. I saw it was new with tags. 
Uh, Cider is one of those fast fashion brands that I get ads for all the time on Instagram and that's because of the fact that like a lot of their stuff it comes in the colorways I like like this one this is green uh, however this is also 100% polyester so I did not keep it although this would have probably looked really cute on me it was my size but it sold for $13.50 and the buyer paid for shipping I sold it for that little because cider actually doesn't cost that much brand new on their site and because I paid less than a dollar for this at the bins. I don't remember, okay, the next piece, I don't know if it's an estate sale find or if it is a bins find. Either way, I would have paid a dollar or less for it. So this is a 90s Bobby's Brooks, got that horizontal stripe that was so prevalent in the 90s, and it sold on an offer for $11.90. Of course, the buyer paid for shipping. This is something I picked up at Goodwill in Williamsburg a very long time ago. This is a Nike Clemson piece, and I paid $2.50 because if you buy, so this sold an offer for $7.80, and I actually kind of got that too because of uh, Josh here, uh, Harry Tornado. So I just did that because I think, I think Haley went there. I'm not sure. I just saw it and I bought it because, you know, friends. <laughs> this next item I sourced from my own closet when I did my closet clear out. And I actually uh, bought this brand new from H&M many, many years ago. I've worn this multiple times over multiple continents. And I just finally decided to let it go. And it sold for my full asking price of $9.87. I bought this for $5 because it was on super clearance. <laughs> so I still made money off of this many, many years later. And the only reason I know I paid $5 for it is because I actually bought this in four different colors. And then over the years, like they got holes in them. This is the only one that was still in really good shape. So really happy about that. And then the last item I have to share with you is something that I put for offer up on whatnot when I did my jewelry auction last month, uh, cause I got a bunch of donated stuff from Carolyn and Ernie. And this was one of those items. Nobody bought it for a dollar and whatnot. So I put it up on um, eBay and somebody bought it for $6.87 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. So could have had it for a dollar, but you know what, what not, it's like, if, you don't, if you're not there when the show happens, you're not gonna, you're gonna miss out. So having it on eBay gives it to a wider audience. So both have their drawbacks and both have their positives, but I'm really happy for my sales recently. Things are still going well. Sales have slowed down just a little bit for this last week, but I'm still really happy with where I feel like I'm going to be ending September on. But we're not there yet. You know, things can change. So I hope this video was interesting and helpful, and I hope that we'll see you in a couple days for another video. Bye!